welcome to Suburban On Air, Cohen in the City, and it's a pleasure for me to have Bruce Hills, the president of Just for Laughs and uh, the pride and joy of Montreal stand-up comic Jess Solomon. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you. All right, Thank well, you. it's great, great to have you both <laughs> with, uh, with us, and we're here to talk about July 24th and July 25th. Now, normally at this time, I would be talking to Bruce at the Just for Laughs Festival uh, in Montreal, which we all look forward to. It's just part of summer. It just doesn't seem right that we're not back at Place des Arts and the Place de Festival. Uh, and that is very sad. But Bruce, uh, uh, your, your team found a way to bring comedy back and you're going to be at the Royal Mount uh, Drive-In Theatre event uh, coming up to the 24th and 25th. Tell us about that, please. Well, listen, um, as you know very well, we postponed our event to the fall and we wanted to do something that uh, could bring comedy uh, to people in a live experience, uh, because I think people are missing it a great deal. Um, and there was an, an opportunity with this uh, Royal Mount um, drive-in uh, theater that uh, was put up just because of the situation. It's a first-class experience. I've gone to see a couple of films now. Uh, I find it safe. Uh, the production value is great. Um, the sound is great. And, you know, it's... Uh, five minutes from Cote St. Luke, five minutes from TMR, maybe seven from Saint Laurent. The, the location is perfectly uh, situated. They run it very professionally. And we just thought, why not? Um, um, we want to bring comedy um, to Montrealers in July, like we've had for over three decades. Tell me about the, the two shows. What, what can we expect? I know there's going to be two shows per night and uh, you, you come, you pay by the car. So uh, how, how's it going to go? Well, first off, we're going to do um, the show that Jess is on is coming out in Canada, one of our real staples at the festival, something we're proud to do. And, and that lineup, both shows are, are hosted by Ivan Decker. Um, and both shows have amazing lineups. Um, you know, Jess is going to be joined by Frank Spadone and Andy King. Um, and also Ivan Decker, who uh, won the Juno Award uh, for Comedy Album of the Year a couple years back. And it's really one of the um, you know, best young comics in the country. Um, so that's going to be a great show. The relationship show also has Adam Hosting, Graham Chitman, John Paul, Ali Hassan from CBC, uh, a very special Iman El Hassani, uh, to, to, uh, as well as Graham uh, Chitman, <laughs> <laughs> as well as Graham Chitman. So I, I think the lineups are. What's great about them is that they're uh, they're not only. I think you're going to see a, a variety of opinions and styles. Uh, but you just, uh, I think there's something for everyone. Uh, lots of great experience uh, and uh, people that are staples of the festival, but also people that um, we haven't seen in a little while. So that's great also to have that, um, you know, uh, uh, offer that comedy experience to Montrealers. So Adam, Adam it's actually Adam Grow who's the, the, uh, the, the, yes. the host? Yes, yeah, okay. he's the host of uh, Cash Cab for years on Canadian television and a very, very funny guy. Um, He'll do a, an excellent job, and uh, you know the lineups are very strong, very, very much up to the standard of JFL in July. There we go. Now, Jess, did you ever believe in your wildest dreams, long mm -hmm. before COVID, that you'd be performing at Just for Laughs at a makeshift drive-in theater in the center of town? Uh, I didn't think about the drive. I didn't think about performing to cars. I've definitely been on some outdoor <laughs> stages at JFL. Uh, but the thing about the drive-in, which is, which is great, is that people are so hungry for comedy right now. They're so happy to be out of their, you know, quarantine. And it's, it's like a very safe way of, of interacting and connecting. Um, and people can honk their horns. They can move their wipers. They can be outside of their sunroofs next to their cars. Uh, you know, it's on the hood of the car. So it's, uh, it's a new experience, but it's very, it's, it's very exciting. Now remind us, remind us who you're married to, because that's very much part of your act mm -hmm. as well. And your partner mm -hmm. as well is performing in this festival. Tell us about that. Well, our relationship ended in quarantine, sadly. Um, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're still together. Uh, I'm married to Iman El Husseini. She's on the relationship show, so I'm sure she'll she'll be talking about me on Friday night. And I I'll be talking about Canada. I won't. I, I might. I don't know if I have to rebut anything the following night. Maybe people should buy tickets to both nights. Um, I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
But and, we're, and, we're a comedy couple in quarantine. And I've got to say that we we're used to spending a lot of time together because we perform together as a duo sometimes. And it's been very fun to see other comedians who are stuck in quarantine with their comedy spouse. They don't, aren't used to being with all the time. And, um, like, welcome yeah. to our hell, everyone. This is... <laughs> well, uh, uh, on that note, Jess, uh, anyone that has Crave should check out your special that you yes. filmed at last summer's festival. And um, and you can uh, check out both of you because, obviously, in addition to being solo stand-ups, you have a fantastic duo act that uh, you can... Thanks, any please. Canadian that has Crave, I think it's a superb special. We're thrilled to make it with you last summer. And, uh, and it's within... Um, you can search it... Um, on Crave and, and find it and, and please watch it in, in yeah. advance of the weekend. Yeah, get yeah. ready. This is your homework. Go watch A Marriage of Convenience <laughs> on Crave and then um, and then come to see us at the drive-in separately. We're, well, our, I, we're also our own people. It's amazing. I, I am very fortunate to have Crave. So thank you for telling me about that. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be watching that very soon. Very, very fortunate. Now, Jess, uh, mm -hmm. how has the COVID-19 pandemic impacted the career of an average comedian like yourself. Um, I well, don't know if I'm an average. average. You yeah, call me the pride and joy. Average. I think she's above average. I think <laughs> well, of course well you meant, I, I, I kind of meant like, you know, just the, the run of the mill. Uh, maybe that's not a good one either. <laughs> I told, you, okay, okay, I don't, I told yeah. you to be grinded, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I went from pride and joy to average. I mean, what did I do? Did I do something I'll wrong? I'll bring you back up by the end of the interview. I okay, good, good. No wonder um, your cat ran away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yes, it's true. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, you know, I don't uh, sell at stadiums. I, that's fair. Um, I, uh, oh man, it's been yes. a war yet. Um, once everybody watches a Crave special, then for sure. Of course. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, I've been doing some comedy on like in, on Zoom like this and it's been, um, it's been different because, you know, the two main things in comedy are that you want to get a response with laughter, which you, you don't necessarily get. And, Timing is important, and I gotta, you know, sometimes the Wi-Fi and the there's a delay, and so it's I, mostly what I've been doing is I uh, I show my puppy, people like that. If I'm on Instagram Live, a lot of a lot of hearts go up the side. So, and if I don't show my puppy at this point that I got just before the pandemic, um, the only really like wonderful timing thing I've ever done was get this puppy <laughs> a month before COVID hit like some kind of Republican senator that bought Zoom stock after a closed door CDC briefing. It was, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, I show her, we do some tricks and, uh, and, and this, is, this is my comedy life now. Well, speaking of the fact that you live in New York City, mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts about uh, President Trump? Do you have any good lines about him? And uh, you I'm know, a big uh, fan, Mike. I'm a very big fan. <laughs> He's doing a great job, isn't he? Great, the best job, absolutely. <laughs> uh, oh man, I, I mean, I think the the breaking point for us when we when we left New York at like at the end of March wasn't. It was. Um, I mean, I guess it, he's just every day. It's something, but at that point. Well, well, it was, it, it, I was going to interrupt that, Jess, that anyone that wants to know your opinion can just follow you on Twitter because you're very, <laughs> it's not like you're not very clear on your feelings. And uh, yeah. 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 I, I'm going to have to, maybe I may have to shut my account down when I cross over. No, 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 no you no. should <laughs> continue as, 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 sorry to interrupt yeah. you. No, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. He was, you know, I, I, I'm not excited to go back because of, of Trump at all. Obviously. I mean, it feels like just like a very out of control uh, situation and um, the guy uh, anyway I we all know he's he's a disaster um, so but I do feel like I need to go back to my apartment I you know I, I do I, I do expect a full New York parade when I get back I know everybody's really keen for all the people who escaped during COVID to come back to town like hey guys <laughs> How's everyone doing? You know, um, I, there there was a real feeling in New York of like you got to be a New Yorker and stay through this. And I was I was there for a little while and uh, and very much like of course New York's the center of the pandemic. It's a center for everything, you know. But um, but then we we left and I heard that you know they were applauding the essential workers at seven p.m. and then booing everyone that left at seven thirty. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah. sneak back in quietly and pretend but I was there got, the whole time. We've got a very good governor in Andrew Cuomo, so luckily, uh, you know, if only he was the president of the United States. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, he definitely has 
made he made some mistakes early on because there are so many big I guess people didn't know how bad this was going to be but they they took so long to shut things down and so many people were lost but I mean New York was the first one so it was hard to know um in a way I don't know I I'm not a Cuomo sexual I know that's a new orientation I love that <laughs> I, I was I was watching his briefings and I and there was some talk about whether he had a nipple pierce at one point when he was wearing a tight golf shirt like I was I was following um <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I think he's done a pretty de decent job with the pandemic. So speaking of the pandemic, uh, Bruce, uh, I mean, I know that Just for Last Festival in Montreal was originally for July. Now it's been rescheduled end of September, October. Where do you stand right now with that? Well, we're going to update everyone in the next couple of weeks uh, as uh, we see what, uh, you know, and how everything is evolving. Um, Really can't say more than that, but still optimistic that there'll be something to be uh, to see from JFL. We're working very hard, and uh, we'll update you as soon as uh, we have news. Um, I also wanted to point out a little something that I, I left out of uh, uh, describing the experience earlier, Mike. If you're okay, um, one thing is the um, the price point. Um, I think that there's a bit of a, a sticker shock when they hear $122 but it is $122 per vehicle, which uh, I think all of us can do the math on, is uh, just a little bit over $30 all in per person. So if, uh, you, know, uh, we, you know, we just want people to register that it's one, uh, it's for a vehicle and you can fit up to five people in it. So you could even spend less than that if you like. And the second thing I want to uh, remind everyone that is, of course, it is live. It isn't something that's coming in on a screen. This is live comedy in a major way. Besh two shows that are going to be produced this summer live anywhere in this city, uh, maybe even in this country. So um, there won't be any more this summer, unfortunately. We're going to do two and let everyone get back to their lives. But uh, it's uh, next weekend or you miss it. And, uh, and Bruce, uh, as well, uh, people uh, don't have to sit in their cars. They can pull their chairs up uh, in front of the car and, and get some fresh air and watch it like, uh, like, like an outdoor movie. Yeah, uh, absolutely. The other night I went to the um, screening of Almost Famous, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, with a, a, a Montreal that just moved back, Mark Hamu. I don't know if you know Mark. Mark, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And Mark and I watched the movie, and uh, he pointed out that's the the night that uh, the movie that he found uh, Montreal or Jay Baruchel, um, and signed him as a management client from that movie. Um, and we were watching out there, socially distance, um, on our on our chairs next to uh, Brendan Kelly on the other side of us. Um, we're going to recommend strongly, and I think Jess will, uh, given that she's had one experience there already, um, will uh, probably agree that it, we're going to really in, uh, insist to the best of our ability to get people out of their cars yes. to, so the, the comedians can see them. That will be Adam's job to entice them out of their cars in a safe manner onto their chairs, uh, <laughs> socially distanced from others. But we want the comics to see the people and we want the people to come out and have an experience with others, but in a, in a safe professional environment. It sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I'm sure you're all looking forward to it. I'm just just excited to see that comedy is back uh, just for the flavor of this city. I want to wish you the best of luck this summer. I know there's a lot of other things going on, Bruce. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, I just got a press release about, uh, uh, about uh, other projects that you're doing. So I know things don't stop, even though there's a pandemic, things have not stopped at all for you. Yeah. Yeah. And we're making another big, Oh, go ahead, Jess. Jess, go ahead. I don't, well, I don't want to interrupt any big announcements uh, that Just for Laughs has cooking about the festival in the fall, but I have heard that Andrew Cuomo might be making an appearance. I uh, love it. <laughs> he's Next on weekend. a victory tour. Yeah. <laughs> Next weekend. Don't miss out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. Well, listen, thank you both very much for your time. Good luck. And uh, in the description of this video, people will have all the details on, on how to get their tickets. So. Um, oh, one other thing, Mike. Yeah. Included yeah. in the price is parking. That's right. <laughs> Don't I, forget. I, boy, it's, it's, there's nothing better. <laughs> no, no, that's than, how we were going to get him, Jess. That's a little, uh, there, there's nothing <laughs> better than right. having a stand <laughs> comic. Absolutely. Uh, All right. Well, thank oh, you. And listen, I, if I could throw in one more thing, this is now more uh, personal, uh, but, uh, well, but it's very JFL. I, I think, Jess, you might have seen it. Um, 
And um, what I'm doing is every day for the length of the festival, posting something on Instagram mm -hmm. at Bruce Hills JFL of the experiences that I've had and my colleagues over 34 years. So if it's the live reading of the Big Lebowski with incredible cast to what I'll post in a moment to uh, John Candy and the stories behind uh, the great comic shows, events of our festival within my time, which is, you know, believe it or not, 34 festivals um my first july not in the middle of a festival so that's another reason i had to do a drive-in um uh, uh but anyway if people are interested it's just maybe a chance to relive or be introduced to something you didn't know about jfl again from my perspective it's not a corporate post it's uh, very much a personal one but i i have some little jewels uh in my photo collection and i'm springing them um to, to show people some of the great things that the festival has done and my colleagues and and uh, uh and i have produced over the years great idea sounds exciting follow, follow bruce on instagram everybody and, 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 and i will be doing the same thing <laughs> and jess on twitter yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'll be following you on everything all of you okay guys thanks <laughs> okay, so much. Yeah. thanks a lot all the best okay. thank you Bye. Okay, cheers.